So we have the president just wrapping up his speech. More breaking right now because we were outside of the IBEU, the headquarters where Stacey Abrams will be giving the Democratic response tonight. Yeah, we captured exclusive footage of Stacey Abrams going in. CBS 46's Sean Gables is there live right now. And Sean, you do have some insight into exactly what she'll say. You know, we did, did some checking. We've got a preview of what Stacey Abrams is going to discuss and what is being called her historic response to the Democratic response to the State of the Union address. Uh, directly behind me, let me show you where she arrived here. Just about 8.30 tonight, she was in a Calvary of black SUVs. Uh, Stacey Abrams arrived to a uh, the IBEW building. This is the International Brotherhood of Electronic Workers. It's where union leaders are meeting, uh, typically meet, but Stacey Abrams is giving uh, her, the, the biggest political speech of her career on national TV tonight. Uh, she was personally plucked by Senate Minority Leader uh, Chuck Schumer. He told the Associated Press that by choosing Stacey Abrams to give the speech tonight gives nod to the importance of black women in um, anchoring the Democratic Party. Abrams' speech tonight will make history. She is the first African-American female to ever give a response to the uh, State of the Union address. Uh, we're just waiting for her to do that. Um, President Trump is still uh, speaking on his points right now, but Stacey Abrams will take the stage immediately afterwards. I did some checking and I've learned that according to the Associated Press, some of the talking points that Stacey Abrams will have in her speech tonight will, inc will argue that all Americans should have economic opportunity access to voting and she will be very critical of the 35 day uh, shutdown the government shutdown so again um, as soon as president trump finishes his state of the union address stacy abrams will make history here in atlanta in this building directly behind me again this is the ibew building it was for some reason, we've been asking questions why this was held in such secrecy, why it was uh, in undisclosed to the public, why she would be here tonight giving this speech. But she um, has not responded, at least, her, her, at least the, uh, her campaign manager has not responded to us. But we do know that as soon as President Trump wraps up his speech, Stacey Abrams will deliver and will be the first African-American female to deliver the Democratic response to the State of the Union address. Uh, this is really putting, we just got through with the Super Bowl, Sharon and Thomas. We had a um, national spotlight here and again the national spotlight again tonight for making history. But there's also another side to the story. We have Mike Dunstan who is um, also going to be talking to those who are at the political watch parties who are supportive of what President Trump has to say. So there's a lot to cover tonight, a lot to unfold and Sharon and Thomas will have all the details for you coming up tonight on CBS 46 News at 11. All right, Sean, and indeed we'll check back with you tonight at 11.